What's going on everybody? David here. Today we're talking travel rewards credit cards. Today's credit card is the Marriott Rewards Premier credit card. First off, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you can get future updates on my videos. Okay, so I'm excited to talk about this card and uh, so let's go ahead and get started here. First off, there's an $85 annual fee that is not waived the first year, so you do have to pay that. And that's pretty standard. Um, Hyatt has, I think it's $75 a year and it's not waived. And so most of the hotel branded credit cards are going to be under $95 and they'll be right around this range. So that's, that's nothing uncommon. Uh, what is uncommon here is 80,000 points. So you'll get 80,000 points after spending $3,000 within the first three months. So if you hit that minimum spend, you get 80,000 points. That's equivalent to three nights, uh, three free nights at a Category 5 hotel. So I looked through the list of categories here, and I see there are a lot of courtyards that are around that range. Uh, so it, ju it just depends on location for the most part. Most of the hotels with Marriott, uh, the, the, hotel, the, the experience I've had with Marriott, they're pretty much standard. They're, they're the same. They're clean. Uh, they're nice. Um, they're definitely uh, a step above some of like IHD has some properties that are they're a little sketchy. So the, the Marriott properties are generally generally good properties. So just uh, be aware of that. So you get those three free nights. Now, if you sign someone up, let's say you have a significant other and you sign them up, they get seventy five or you get seventy five hundred points uh, just for having them as an authorized user. So what that means is. They'll get a card, they can use it, uh, you're ultimately responsible to pay for it, but you get that $7,500, so that's always uh, always nice. So if you have parents or if you have a significant other, it's definitely a good situation there. You have an anniversary, you get one free night every year, so that's nice, and that's in a category one to five, so that's, that's always a, a good perk there. Now let's look at the earned potential here. So... You get five points for every dollar spent on Marriott properties and SBG properties. Now, Marriott did buy SBG, so they're all the same. I don't think they completely merged. I don't. I think SBG is still staying. They, they still have their their hotels. They're not going to be all. They're not all going to turn into Marriott hotels. I think SBG is going to stay on its own, but they are owned by Marriott. So, uh, one one thing here is what does it say? Fifty seven hundred participating Marriott rewards. An SVG hotel so they have a lot of hotels they have a far reach so that's one of the huge benefits of Marriott is they have a huge reach uh, they have nice hotels and when you compare it to let's say IHG they have a huge reach as well but the hotels are not they're not at the same level not at the same standard so you also get uh, two times points for every dollar spent on airlines uh, car rentals and restaurants so that's pretty good that's 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 kind of the middle of the road generally you'll you'll get two times points on these uh, some cards will be a little more uh, like chase sapphire reserve you'll get three times points for restaurants and and uh, airline tickets now you get one point for every dollar spent on everything else so this is a chase card by the way so some of the the earn potential is is very similar to the chase sapphire preferred so just be aware of that. Uh, it's great to hit that bonus with this card because you'll get the, the 80,000 bonus points. But uh, after that, let's say two, three years down the road, you're really only going to be looking forward to getting that free night because uh, everything else is pretty standard. Unless you're staying at a Marriott property, I wouldn't use this card. I would use, uh, if I had a Chase Sapphire Preferred, I would use it there. Now, if I'm staying at a, at a Marriott property, I'll get five times points and I can't, there, there's nothing comparable to that so that's a benefit there and you get uh, elite status you get silver elite status you get 15 credits towards your um, top tier elite status so that's nice uh, you always have the possibility of of getting elite status if you're staying at, at the same hotel if you're making that commitment so it's always nice to to see that they're going to give you 15 uh, credits towards that and as well as if you're spending for every three thousand dollars that you spend you get a, a one uh, elite credit so and that's unlimited so you can continue if, you, if you're let's say you do a lot of uh, travel for business or let's say you do a lot of spending for business you can spend a lot of money there and just keep accruing all these credits 
and uh, before you know it, you can be in elite status, and you haven't really even stayed at the hotel that much. So uh, that is pretty much it. Overall, this card is is exceptional. I would definitely recommend it. Uh, this is one of those cards where you know that the hotels are going to be nice, and so they're they're worth the free nights. They're worth getting the credit card to get all those points to stay free. Uh, you have SPG, uh, SPG hotels that you can stay at as well. So this is this is definitely one of those cards that uh, you should really consider uh, if you're new into the the travel awards um, programs. This is one of those cards you want to look at. Uh, I would not. I would recommend this card, and I would recommend the Hyatt uh, cards because those, both those hotels, uh, they're 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 nice hotels. You're not going to be um, you're going to be satisfied with those hotels. Now, if you go into, let's say, IHG or even some of the Hilton hotels, you might not be that happy with with where you're staying. So um, I had an experience where I went to Puerto Rico and stayed in Puerto Rico, and I, I, I stayed. Uh, I had an IHG point, so I stayed at the the Holiday Inn. Uh, I'm sorry, not the Holiday. Yeah, Holiday Inn, Holiday Inn Express. And uh, wasn't very satisfied. It, it was it was pretty disappointing. So you can you, you don't want to be in that situation. You go to a nice a nice place, and this was before the hurricane and everything. Uh, so this is like three years ago or two years ago, and you don't want to go to a nice a nice place in you know an island, and then you're staying in a hotel that's really not uh, really not that nice. So. Uh, with Marriott, you you know you know what you're getting, and most of the hotels are really good. So I'm going to stop rambling here. If you have any uh, comments, please post them below. If you have any questions, you can also post them below, and I'll I'll uh, try to answer those. And subscribe for more. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.